हेलो एवरीवन ये मुस्मान नासिर द डेवलपर ऑफ साइबर पैनल एंड टुडे आई एम रियली एक्साइटेड टू शेयर आवर ब्रांड न्यू फीचर व्हिच आर बैकअप्स वी टू वी आर वर्किंग ऑन दिस बैकअप्स फ्रॉम पास्ट ऑलमोस्ट टू मंथ्स एंड इफ यू आर इन आवर फेसबुक कम्युनिटी यू माइट ऑलरेडी नो अबाउट दैम दिस इज़ अ बेसिक ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ how you can uh, use these backups these are uh, basically incremental backups and on the back end we are using rustic and uh, our clone so you will see a menu on your uh, left sidebar after upgrading your cyber panel to v 2.3.4 and uh, the first thing uh, that you need to do is that uh, you need to configure the backends uh, uh, right now from cyber panel ui we support google drive and sftp uh, later in this video i will explain that you can also use our clone and configure any our clone supported uh, backend and it will be uh, detected by cyber panel however from cyber panel ui we support uh, google drive and uh, uh, sftp so the first thing that you need to do is uh, configure the backend so you have to select uh, the website for which you want to configure this backend uh, then you have to select either google drive or uh, sftp uh, i will uh, select google drive and call it uh, backups tutorial it will uh, take you to uh, our platform where you will have to uh, just log in uh you don't need to uh do anything on the platform side this is just needed so that we can authorize uh, the app uh, with google drive then it will ask you for uh, the google drive access you just need to approve that and uh, you are good to go so uh once the uh, backend is configured you can come to create and restore v2 backup here you can select uh, the site for which you want to create backup uh, right now uh, we have two backend configure one is for google drive and second is for sftp so uh, the good thing with backups v2 is that you can uh, do individual backups of uh, the website data databases or emails if we talk about website data uh, what i mean is uh, if you open your website and you will see your file manager if you only select data all of this will be backed up and uh, da databases and emails won't be backed up if you select all of these uh, then data databases and, email, and emails everything will be backed up then you have to select the repository on which you want to do the backup and uh, it will create a backup this is uh, a manual way to create a backup if you want to do then if uh, then uh, if you want to restore the backups you can just click restore backups select the uh, website for which for which you want to uh, restore the backup uh, select the repository and you will uh, see list of snapshots uh, that you can restore uh, for example this is the backup of your uh, data so if you restore this only your data backup will be restored uh, let me see if i have an example of uh, uh database backup restore and let's see okay so this is again the backup of data okay here you can see that we have backup of data uh, and these are individual databases of your website you can restore individual databases as well so if you click restore uh, this database will be restored and uh, you might see one additional thing with each backup is this config file uh, this is just a config file in which cyber panel store all the metadata for uh, Uh, for the for this backup so you don't need to i mean uh, worry about this 
uh, and the last thing uh, that you can do is uh, you can uh, which is the most important thing is you need to schedule the backups obviously uh, you are not going to uh, run the backups manually every time so you can come to the schedule backups section and uh, here you can select the website select the backup frequency like how often you want to do these backups let's say for your database uh, you want to backup every 30 minutes you can select the uh, uh, repository then you have to select the backup retention like for how many days you want to keep the backup for example if you select three days backups older than th three days will be deleted this will help uh, keep the space uh, now you have to select what do you want to backup so let's say uh, we want to only backup databases every 30 minutes similarly you can uh, i mean you can schedule backups individually for data and databases uh, you can also schedule them uh, together as well so uh, just click create schedule and it will create a schedule which will be listed here and it will also show that uh, the last uh, when did this backup was lost able to run successfully you can say similarly delete these schedules as well so this is very i mean basic guide of how you can uh, use backups v2 they are very robust they uh, use rustic on the back end and they are incremental and really fast uh, now let's say uh, you want to configure backend which is uh, not uh, google drive or sftp our clone basically supports lots and lots of backends so the first thing that you need to do to configure backends uh, from cli is you need to know the linux user for your website by the way if you don't want to uh, configure additional backends from cli you don't need to further watch this uh, tutorial so uh, I, I, you can either get the user from the vhost configuration or uh, from this page as well this is the uh, linux user of your website uh, you can also set the password for it as well okay and uh, then i will go to the terminal and uh, i will sorry use this user and uh, Password was all right. So I am logged in uh, now. All you have to do is uh, run our clone config, and uh, here you can configure a new remote, uh, delete a remote, or rename a remote. So let's say if we want to create a new remote, we will click N and you can enter new remote cli then here you have list of all the backends uh, supported by our clone so once you configure a backend from here uh, you don't need to do anything else you can read upon uh, our clone uh, documentation on how to configure a backend from cli so once that is done uh, then you can uh, you will be able to see that repository here as well and in this casual uh, backup section as well so that was it if you guys have any question feel free to ask them in the comment section thank you